By May, around 600 cases of acute hepatitis of unknown cause had been reported worldwide, most cases were in United Kingdom. If we look big picture this hepatitis is quite rare, and wouldn't be a big problem, but in around 10% of cases it is severe enough, that requires liver transplantation. And at least 14 fatal cases are reported. In addition hepatitis is very rare in generally healthy children. And its unknown origin means, we don't know spreading and transmission and causative agent of this hepatitis. That's why investigators continue to look at possible causes and investigate. Hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver and can have a wide range of causes. Viral infections can cause the condition, the viruses known as hepatitis A, B, C, D and E are all known triggers. Heavy drinking, as well as certain medications and toxic substances, can also cause hepatitis. In autoimmune hepatitis, the body's own immune system attacks the liver. Sudden and severe hepatitis in previously healthy children is uncommon, which is why the new clusters of cases have prompted concern. Symptoms Abdominal pain, diarrhea and vomiting preceding presentation with severe acute hepatitis, and increased levels of liver enzymes. Aspartate transaminase, ASD, or alanine aminotransaminase, ALT, greater than 500 IUL, and jaundice. Most cases did not have a fever. The common viruses that cause acute viral hepatitis, hepatitis viruses A, B, C, D and E, have not been detected in any of these cases. In more than 50% adenovirus was identified. Especially in Britain and in Netherlands also reported increased adenovirus circulation. While adenovirus is a possible hypothesis, investigations are ongoing for the causative agent. In 18% of cases there was active COVID-19 infection. Most affected children have not received a COVID-19 vaccine. Children age was from 1 month to 16 years. While adenovirus alone is rarely associated with fulminant hepatic failure in healthy children, other factors may increase vulnerability, so current hypotheses continue to include an adenovirus etiology. Other leading hypotheses include a post-infectious SARS-CoV-2 syndrome, a new variant of adenovirus, non-infectious causes, a novel pathogen, or a new variant of SARS-CoV-2. What we can do? Parents can inform healthcare provider timely in case of any hepatitis symptoms occur in their kids. The most important is to pay attention to symptoms, such as diarrhea or vomiting, and to the color, if there are signs of jaundice where the skin and whites of the eyes turn yellow, medical attention should be sought immediately. Have all their vaccines up to date. Vaccines that protect against the hepatitis A virus and hepatitis B virus.